All right, so what we're gonna do here is set up this computer for Wake on LAN. So first we gotta start by setting up the BIOS so it'll turn on over the LAN. So first turn on the computer and tap F12 to get to the boot menu. So once you're in the boot menu, you wanna arrow key down to BIOS setup and then hit enter. Once in the BIOS, you need to first click on load defaults to get all the default settings. And click OK. Alright, after that, you need to go down to power management, expand that, and then find wake on LAN, and you want to select the LAN only, and then hit apply. After that, you want to hit exit for it to boot again, and then also hit F12 to try and get back into the BIOS menu because we need to set up one more thing. So once the screen comes up, let's go down to BIOS setup again. Go back in, and then we need to go down to boot sequence and check onboard nick hit apply and then exit now the bios is set up okay so now that we got the now that we got the computer set up we need to get uh, information so that we can contact this computer from a different pc so first go into the start menu then go to control panel if you open up control panel you want to find Network and Sharing Center. Open that up. <clears throat> Once you're in Network and Sharing Center, you want to click on Change Adapter Settings. Find Local Area Connection. Right click it. Go to Status. And then click on Details. And here should be all the information we need. We got the IP address. We got the physical address. We got the subnet, and that's pretty much all the information we need to reach this computer over the LAN. So now to contact the computer over the LAN, we're going to download a nice uh, GUI interface for Wake on LAN, and we have this nice one from uh, depicus.com. So we're going to download that, hit OK, <clears throat> and then we're going to extract it to the desktop. And then we have it right here. So as you can see, this computer is completely powered off. All right, so now we're gonna power it on using uh, the Wake on LAN GUI. So first you wanna enter your MAC address, which is the physical address that we looked up earlier. Okay, and then the internet address is the IP. And then you need the subnet mask. And then for send options, you want internet. And then for remote port number, you can just use the default, which is seven. And then after we click wake up, as you can see, the computer's powering on.